Hello and welcome back to the False Prophets podcast with Phil Risden. Ma- yeah. Manny Perez, what's up, guys? And Todd Mondesi. There you go. Uh, remember, guys, uh, we do this show because we're just three people wanting to make you laugh and want to have uh, hot takes on shit. You know, uh, we're just here to have fun. And remember that you could follow us, but we might not always lead you somewhere good. All right. So what are we here to talk about? We're here to talk about the thumbnail. Mm. The thing that you guys are here to see mm. is obviously uh, the attacker who attacked Dave Chappelle. Uh, he has just come out with a statement saying that he attacked Dave Chappelle, but he did it for a reason. Uh, I would have thought it was because of his shitty rap career, but <laughs> it turns out he actually did it uh, because of uh LGBT uh, motives. Supposedly, oh, <laughs> sorry. Supposedly he's uh, bisexual and uh, he didn't like what Chappelle was saying and uh, decided to uh, roll up on him and see what see what happens. So, what do you guys think? You go. Yeah, I I well, you know, learning about the context before, like apparently he had a a song called "I Hate Dave Chappelle" or, or a variation of that before that. You know what I'm saying? And before the whole... So I think this was him, like, trying to start his rap career and use that as, like, a... Like, a like a, like a, a motive to, like, get his name out there. You know? I, I don't think he gives a rat's ass about, like, the LGB community. I think when you had, like, Twitter and social media going, like, oh, Chappelle deserves that, and then he was getting charged, and then he saw that outpouring, he probably was like, all right, let me jump on that so I don't get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Because this guy is probably just trying to, like sell records or whatever get his name out there like no one would know who he was if he didn't do that dumb shit you know because that's where we're living right now we live in a society that rewards stupid dumb shit and not smart shit that like elevates people there it it rewards people stuff that divides people so whatever divides people is gonna get pushed out there you know what i'm saying so this guy's just like oh fuck it i'll be a fucking coon i'll dance and do whatever you guys want so i can fucking get my fucking two cents yeah i'm bisexual whatever yeah whatever you know i got a kid or not i don't know you know what i'm saying that's how people are now you know and that's what happens when the society's falling apart you know? yeah i agree you know going back to what we said earlier it's it's all about just trying to get to me you know it's, it's like he wants his music out there mm-hmm. you know he wants the jay-z verse like you know i mentioned earlier like but this guy is just i don't know what the hell does he think he's gonna get out of this because like you're only going to be known as the dude that tried to attack Dave Chappelle. You're not going to be known as the, oh, shit, that's the Grammy winning, whatever the fuck yeah, his name yeah. is. You're not getting a Grammy, doofus. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just makes no fucking sense. Like, I don't believe the dude, and I just hope that he just gets, like, some sort of jail time because, like, you know, th- this is just embarrassing. Um, You know, comedians as yourselves, that, you know, people got, I got to start walking around with security. Yeah. That type of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, yeah. thank God John Stewart, Jamie Foxx, Busta Rhymes, and, and Most Deaf, you know, Talib, all these people were there stomping this dude out in the name of comedy and justice, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But also for, you know, we got to protect our king, Dave Chappelle. I but can, like, yeah, th- screw this guy, man. I can never imagine someone getting attacked and being like, thank God John Stewart was there. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 somehow, right. Somehow this is where we're at. So yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I actually believe the guy probably is bisexual. I believe he probably does have a son, I think. But I think he's just he's just mentally fucking ill. I think his motivations in the statement that he made are probably completely fucking real. Right. He probably hated him because he's mentally ill and all those other things. So he just focused on him, and it was a way for him to stalk people and all that shit, sort of shit. And he's watching all this social media stuff where people are fucking, you know, being like, I will fucking die if I look at another Chappelle special and all that stuff. And that's also emboldening him as well. I mean, people talk about, like, only alt-right things emboldening people, but it's it's not true. It's, yeah, didn't he, did, didn't that guy vote for Trump or something, too? Like, he, because he, there was yeah. some weird stuff, like, yeah. Because he was, like, not just that. He was, like, doing out of, other out-of-pocket, like, rhymes and, like, oh, wow. rap songs. So he's all over the place. He'll say whatever it takes. He, you know what? He's a Twitter chump. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's like yeah. a Twitter. He's like his. He's like those dude, like those people that just try to be part of a community. Like yeah. no one around you likes you. Yeah, Probably yeah. your family hates you. You have no friends because your fucking weirdness just like pushed them off, you know, all away. So you're just gonna go to Twitter, see what's the top thing that's trending. Fuck it, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, yeah. And then and that's just... how he's gonna make his friends. Yeah. You know. That's kind of a freedom, though, where it's just like, oh, what's trending right now on Twitter? All right, I'm going to go kill that. Yeah, I'm going to go <laughs> shoot that guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Toby Squirrel in the park? Fuck him. Yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> I mean, yo, it's weird. Like, uh, what's that? There's that that shooter that like the mass shooter that um that killed the the black people and stuff. You know what I'm saying? R. P. Yeah. He was like he was like basically a meme racist. You know what I'm saying? Like his gun had the N word on it. Really? He was also like a he was also into My Little Pony. He was a brony and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, that's a thing. What? Yo, you this is weird, okay? For real. Okay. Yeah. So like they they did a profile of his room, like his his room, yeah. and there was a jar, right? Yeah. With like a like a My Little Pony in the jar and it filled with sticky substance. Yeah. So so here's the thing. Jeez. Here's the thing. On on 4chan. Filled with sticky substance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 4chan, there's a whole there's a whole thing where like dudes jerk off to like their My Little Ponies and then try to drown it in like a yeah yeah. It's a whole thing. So so that's what I'm saying. These kids are like weird now. They're trying to get like it's like they're trying to marry traditional. It's like they're trying to marry traditional fucked up bullshit with like weird ass like. <laughs> Whatever happened to good old bestiality, man? Yeah, the man. real thing. <laughs> Try to drown your horse after coming in it. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Or whatever just happened to uh, <laughs> fucking a girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a- that could be <laughs> very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I or mean, f- Jesus Christ. I thought it was weird because I had pictures of Leah Remini when I was a kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, this guy's fucking filling no, thing, jars I- of ponies with uh, I have a yeah. I, I have a cousin, man. This is a funny story. Okay. You remember those um, old school PlayStation catalogs they used to send you over the mail? Okay, yeah. You know they send you the demo also. Yeah, yeah. To play like some free games. Did he come on it? <laughs> on Tomb Raider. Oh, <laughs> it was Jeez. gross. Like <laughs> supposedly, like all the pages were stuck together, uh, and then his mom found this like cum sock, and it was just as st- like literally, if you dropped it, it would just would have shattered into like a thousand pieces. <laughs> Like your mom finds your your, your cum sock, it's just like, oh no, the noose, and it just drops. <laughs> all my kids, all my generation on the floor. That's the one thing, man. Guys are so weird. Like we we come on everything except a garbage can. <laughs> it's literally yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. anything else, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. It's like you are gonna have to dispose of that later. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't know what the fuck they do. Get rid of DNA evidence, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm so I'm trying to figure out the weirdest place I cummed. I mean, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. so many. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, don't I, self-incriminate yourself here. That's, what that's I'm just saying. what he's saying, it right? Yeah, <laughs> it's on a crime scene. What? What? Why was it a crime scene? Yeah. I saw the dead body and I just yeah. decided. Let me stop. I think we found John Benet Ramsey. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they still haven't found right. They still yeah. the parents are yeah. yeah. Which is crazy. That's how you know they like they just you know fucking like paid someone off because there's no way a white woman could be missing for that long mm-hmm. and it'd still be a cold case. I, you, you know I, what's I, messed I up? You. John Bonet Ramsey, if she was alive today, probably be older than you. Yeah. <laughs> she would. She would. So you could talk about that because it was like, yeah, yeah it's like, yeah, she was older than me. Huh? 70s? No, the 90s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was like, what, six and like 90 something? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. But how old are you? Like, Okay, so you probably won't remember because I was like, yeah, a little Could bit. Been about my age, I think. Yeah, right, right. Probably like, yeah, probably yeah, like, like two, three years older. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fucking wild, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, the guy shot Dave Chappelle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the guy <laughs> murdered Jake Chappelle. Uh, no, no, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think he's full of shit. I think he's completely, um, I, I mean, I do think he is like, actually like somewhere in the community of LGBT and everything, but obviously he is using it, but uh you know, I, I think this is one of those things where, you know, we're going to see people kind of put their money where their mouth is because I guarantee you there's still going to be people out there who are going to be like, he fucking deserved that <laughs> shit. I hope they go to his fucking rap concerts and enjoy that shit, right? You're going to be like, yeah. And then he's like, oh, man. We got <laughs> to make ourselves like this. Now. Oh, yeah. 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 Donald Trump's not that bad? What? Uh, I, think, I think there's also that whole thing of just like, uh, you know, just like him like him uh, being LGBT and everything. But like, I don't know. I, I wonder, you know, how far people are going to go in the future with all this. And also, too, it like it proves a lot of what he was talking about in the special where he's just saying he's like, you know, black people get killed for this, that and third, blah, blah, blah. But anybody who's LGBT or anything, you go after them and the whole world fucking collapses around you. Yeah. And he made these jokes and I'm not saying that they're good or bad. You know, some were funny, some weren't. Whatever. But now there's, you know, he got tackled on stage and there's motherfuckers being like, good, tackle that nigga, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like, shit is real out here. Shit yeah, is real yeah, out yeah. here. I just want to say, 
Phil Rizdon, you canceled. Okay, just yeah. in case, <laughs> just in case, uh, you know, this is, you know, we want to cut this. Phil, you're canceled. So that way I protect myself. <laughs> Good to know. Thank you for condemning me. <laughs> What's while on Twitter? Being What's on, on Twitter? Check. So we can join that first. Oh, God. <laughs> Todd Mercy condemns Phil Rizdon on his own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I will say uh, that guy was uh, he was shameful. He was shitty. But I also do want his marketing team because <laughs> yeah. for him to get that yeah. close to Dave Chappelle, let me tell yeah. you, you know, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't have anybody in my camp. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know what I there. heard? I heard recently also that Dave Chappelle actually spoke to him. Really? Yeah. I wonder how that conversation would have been like, hey, motherfucker. You almost killed me. And then what happens after that? You know, yeah, this is yeah, like yeah. fucking idiot. Just like, how do you respond to that? I mean, I don't fucking know. I think I, I just imagine that guy like Dave Chappelle sitting at the desk and then the guy has to be wheeled in like Hannibal Lecter. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's like with a mask don't on. Don't forget the shoulder all you fucked know, yeah, up. Yeah, all, yeah shoulder's <laughs> still fucked up. Hello, David. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has to talk through a computer now like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> 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 that was so fucked up. <laughs> you know it's so sad that guy was probably talking to Chappelle and didn't like rap lyrics because he's still trying to market himself <laughs> what's up Dave Chappelle are you well <laughs> you fucking really smell <laughs> <laughs> no you know what's fucked up is that guy probably has an agent and I don't oh yeah that's what, that's oh, what's fucked up. the guy that fucking tried to instigate Mike Tyson in the airplane yeah, yeah. he got an agent he's of doing course. I think he's doing like a tour and I'm of, like of a tour of what, what? Yes. of course he is that's the problem. That's that's where we're at. Like every yeah. time a society like collapses, you have people wilding out. Like like oh, yeah. uh, ancient ancient like uh, the ancient times, right? With the well, like one of the seven uh, wonders of the world. I think um, like what was it Statue of Cyprus? Oh, yeah. That shit got burnt out by a dude trying to get his name on the fucking history books and shit. Really? You know what I'm saying? So this this shit happens all the time yeah. where people are just like fuck it, nothing matters anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to get myself I'll out there. I'll tell you right now, dude, you can get a job like if you if you uh, are willing to, you know, basically assault a celebrity, you can totally get a job anywhere. Oh my god. Just start hiring the yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we had that. Well, Do any sort of <laughs> weird crazy shit like run around either character character assassinate somebody or just try to assassinate somebody. I think I think that's why uh cancel culture and everything you know whether or not you believe how what the levels of reality of it are i think that's why it's so big because people now can make their careers out of saying that somebody did something or right. or didn't do the right thing or whatever the fuck you know yeah, what I mean? that, that going crazy. back to like what you said also it's just like this is this is like some sort of community that that's what they want like these attention seeking whores mm -hmm. You know, that girl that was from Florida just the other day, she was just like next to a cop and she just started doing 100 out of nowhere. Cop pulled her over and he was like, yo, you know, get out the car. And then he arrested her and they asked her, why did she do that? She was like, it was part of my bucket list to get arrested. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? But then, you know, everyone that's crazy lives in Florida. So, yeah, there you, there you go. That's some white girl shit. Yeah, where it's like, my bucket list getting arrested, LOL. Oh, my God. That has to be and by the way, can we not say attention whores? That's very offensive. It's attention uh, workers. workers. Yeah, <laughs> attention workers. We're working for attention here. We're attention workers. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Uh, yeah, man. We also wanted to talk about. Uh, there's a lot of shit happening right now. The world is crumbling. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Governments are going in cra are going crazy. But the one thing that the government has seemed to do right is. Uh, they actually recently just decided to have a Senate hearing about UAPs, mm -hmm. uh, a.k.a. UFOs, and we wanted to bring that up. I wanted to say this about how, you know, they used to be called UFO, UFOs back in my day. I think the reason why they switched it is because they don't want poor people feeling like they were right. Right, right, right. Because you know they mean? can't be considered right. Exactly. If you're poor, it's like, no, no, you're still stupid. You'll never be us. So we're going to just change the yeah, fucking so game. Fuck off. Yeah, it's like fucking like marijuana, right? All those, like, all of a sudden, all these big companies are getting into marijuana. Oh, all yeah. these things. Then, what the fuck? Like, all these, a generation we were for it five years ago. Right, right. You know I mean? A generation, a gener, like that. That fucking wiped out a generation of people yeah. with the fucking yeah. And now it's just like, oh yeah, we have like fucking yeah, it's legal. And uh, maybe we'll throw in a couple of like licenses in the hood here and there yeah, for like yeah. two motherfuckers. No, you know, it's, it's fucked. They just change the game on you when they want to. You know. Yeah. 
Now they got UAP, which sounds like a shitty rapper in the nineties. Yeah, right. <laughs> I honestly thought I honestly thought it was Naughty by Nature's OPP remix. I'm like, oh shit, they're back. Yeah. Queen Latifah? <laughs> like, but nah, they, it, like uh, yeah, it's it's actually ca- kind of cool because, you know, oh man, funny thing, I think I told you this story one time. So you know that Roswell crashing and everything right. that happened, right? Mm-hmm. So I remember one time my, my brother and I, we were just on the computer really late night mm-hmm. having a few drinks and then we saw um, the actual video. Mm-hmm. So this was years ago. And there was actually a recording that you just see a spaceship just going down, boom, boom, and then just a giant explosion. To this day, I still cannot find this video. Really? I cannot find this video because now, like, this was back in 2000 and let's just say seven or some shit. But as the years went on, haven't you noticed that a lot of videos and, like, pictures and stuff have been disappearing from Google and YouTube oh, yeah, and all yeah. this other shit? Tons of shit off. Yeah, There's man. Like and I've seen that video. And I kid you not, I always typed it in. I typed in the Roswell crashing, blah, 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 blah. And it was always there. And then one day I typed it in. I'm like, hey, guys, I want you to see this. Gone. Really, and I've been looking for it for ye- for that video for years, for years. E bombs world had it one time. That was a crazy website. New ground, new newgrounds dot com, some yeah, weird shit like that. Yeah. But even those websites changed. They gotta shut off. Yeah. Those cha- those websites were so like R rated type material oh, yeah. and shit, M A type re- material. You see get now, back you, their yeah, arm cut off dude. Now shit. you can fucking play the, a trolls game or, or some fucking yeah, Smurfs yeah, on yeah, ice, some, some bullshit, bullshit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so this is actually kind of interesting, even though they haven't really said much. You know, from what 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 I what I saw, they're like, oh, but you know, in this video, you kind of see something, and it's just like, okay, yeah. we want to know more. Have you high fived ET, the real oh, yeah. ET, or they some talk shit? To these niggas, man. I think they, or not necessarily. I don't think they space niggas. Talk. Yeah, space <laughs> niggas. That'd be a great movie. Space, space niggas on Paramount Plus. <laughs> <laughs> but they definitely talk to him, bro, or like maybe not talk to him, but they've like I think they've like found a body or some shit or. Just something, dude. Yeah. They definitely have some like wreckage and everything because these motherfuckers have crashed before. Yeah, yeah I, I think I think if there is, I mean, if there are aliens, That's they're way it. too smarter than us. So it's the other way around. You know what I'm saying? I've seen one. I've yeah. Seen one. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen one. I was, I was near. So, I was on like the JFK Expressway, mm-hmm. uh, near there, and I pulled over. You know. I'm like, all right, let me take, uh, like, I was probably midnight. I'm like, let you me know take we're talking right about now. space aliens, not undocumented <laughs> aliens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Jesus. And not undocumented. Jesus Guzman. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But like, oh, yes, <laughs> good one. Are. Nah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Assholes. Nah, but, nah, dude, I remember I was just looking up, and then it was kind of really cloudy, and, and then all I've seen was just, like, three blue rings. Mm-hmm. And all I heard was, woo, woo, woo. And the first thought, I was just like, I'm in the fuck out of here. I'm not going to stay for this shit. And he was just flying over me. And then that's it. I just hauled ass right back home, back to bed But yeah, I do believe that there's something out there. And then they're actually here. You know, yeah. I mean, Elon Musk is here. So that's probably like their lord or some shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yo, you should have done that Michael Jackson video again. Ah! Let them pick you up, you know? <laughs> and it's gonna be like ding dong ding dong. <laughs> it was like, yo, what's going on here? You're just like an alien. Is this what humans do? What the fuck's going on? Shimon, what language is he talking? I know we know English and Chinese, and this is something else. Let me. Can I ask you though? If uh, if one of those aliens came down and was like, yo, what's up? We come in peace. Uh, and I know we've been watching you guys this whole time, but uh, we like like they come up to you, Todd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we, I know we've been watching you this whole time. It's mm-hmm. fucking weird. Would you like you know come with us just this one time? I'm out. Would Fuck would this you, planet. Yeah. Actually, I would sell the, this whole planet off. I'll be like, yo, what information you need? <laughs> I got you. You want me to go in? The first space snitch. <laughs> space snitch. That nigga is a space snitch. That nigga is a space yeah. snitch. Yeah. An intergalactic snitch ass motherfucker. You about to be on space <laughs> academics? Oh, and he's you... gonna be like showing the paperwork of when you snitch. <laughs> and he's still fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gonna tell him about Pluto, nigga? Yeah. You gonna tell him about Pluto? <laughs> Why'd you gotta do that for? You told him it's a gasless planet. <laughs> Damn. Space wax one hundred exposed. Wax. Oh shit. That's fucking- <laughs> Yo, the government be like, yo, man, we got a space snitch here in this planet Earth. This nigga right here, Tyrone, tell him these motherfuckers. (laughs) Even (laughs) each planet has a Tyrone. Even space is a Tyrone. (laughs) Letting everybody know everything. I don't know, man. 
He even told them we got buttholes and shit, man. Why you got to tell them that? <laughs> oh, man. Nah, but, but, <laughs> <laughs> that's, why you, that's why you tell them we got buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, I think I, I think I'm in the same boat. I think I'd go also, man. I think I also go. I mean, just to like actually see some shit out there besides Earth, man, because this fucking planet is crazy. You know what I mean? You you would yeah. That's, I that's, would fucking go to space. That's bold. That's bold. Would you? What you'd stay? Yeah, I, I would. I would say, but here's my thing, right? I'd be like, I'm not going with you. But, like, give me a device so I can come whenever I want. Let me decide when I go. Nigga, don't take me nowhere. Well, here's the thing. Here's the <laughs> thing. Take me nowhere. Fuck out of here. How do, I know, how do I know that you actually are? Like, bro, you can bring me into some shit and just, like, open a portal and it's a fucking universe of blenders or some shit. <laughs> and just push my ass in there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, just to, like, fuck with me. Because now you yeah. think, like, oh, bro, these humans is mad dumb, bro. You can <laughs> promise them some E.T. shit, dog. Yeah. And they'll just go with you, bro. Well, here's you the know? thing. Well, here's the thing, though. It depends on like the whatever how the you, the aliens are. If they're like, you know, benevolent or they're fucking horrible. But it's you know not what like you don't know that. Exactly. When right. You first right. meet them, though, dog. But here's the thing. If they if they're <laughs> they can just be fucking with you, that's like your first time in the city or some shit, and some dude in the alley goes like, "Hey, come over here." Yeah. You know what but, I mean? Like, I think, fuck I think out of here, dog. I think it's just I'm just like so excited that we're actually seeing some shit that we've been like we grew up with. You and know what I mean? Know that, and you're like, "Fuck hell yeah, I'll go." You know? Yeah. But then it's true we gotta treat it like as if you're like in any other. Yeah, they about to get at your pockets. Dog. <laughs> Here's a problem though. See, we're thinking like humans though. That that's how humans are. These aliens might be something different. They might be like, oh, we're all peaceful and we do nice, cool shit. We're all about orgasms. That's what we do. <laughs> like, what if what if these motherfuckers, like, reinvented orgasms where it's like, oh, snap. You mean you could have it, f- like, forever for, like, hours on end instead of, like, <laughs> a second? Wouldn't you be like, yo, maybe, let me just, wow, they've got, like, extra titties over there? They got, like, we fucking, got yeah, yeah. Exactly. They have spare <laughs> spare titties. Exactly. Right, right. You, get, you get a flat on the fucking highway. Exactly. Like, don't worry. I have my spare titties in the back. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, babe. We're fine. You got your own pocket titty. Oh, titties. Yeah. <laughs> I was scared for a second. I was like the kid. I was the cat. The alien. Like the alien came out. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Spare titties in the back. Exactly. Yeah, man. You're not a you're not a man unless you can install a spare titty. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> you know, you're not a man. Wouldn't you, you just join them like that? Or you're like, oh snap, for real? I'll be writing notes. Oh damn, that's how you make titties. Damn. Can you tell me the secret how to make a pussy though? So oh, I don't no. have to go. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's heavily guarded. That's heavily guarded. No, nah, you ain't ready that's yet. That's how the first guy went down to Roswell. He was gonna tell Earthlings <laughs> how to make a pussy. Yeah, exactly. And they shot him down. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Space pussy. Space pussy. There you go. Um, <laughs> porn parodies at this point. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, so. Yeah. I think so. But but do you think this is only going to be like this is going to be the f- only and the first hearing ever? That's it, or is this going to continue? Because it's just a hearing. You know, they're just trying to announce something. But obviously, we know this is just to cover up other shit that's happening. Yeah, but I that's mean, neither here nor there. Well, it's also too. I mean, you did kind of hear even in the hearing that there were certain things that they didn't want to let go out during the hearing because there was one guy. That was uh, first off. There was two different dudes who were really like actually kind of pressing him, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, but there was one dude who was like, you guys are uh, discussing about all these things, but are we? What are our plans to get sensors out there? You know, and like in the air, and um, and also, uh, have you been doing anything to uh, a, a address uh, UAPs uh, that are actually like underwater? And mm. once he said underwater, the the dude who was like one of the heads of the UAP unit was like. Actually, uh, we're going to need to discuss that second part in close quarters and stuff. Wow. So they're underwater as well, too. Yeah, of course. You remember that? Uh, uh, just okay. real quick. I um I found out about the whole underwater shit because Christopher Columbus has like this journal or some shit. And in the journal, he wrote that he's seen something just come out from the water and then just like disappear. So this goes way back in time. Yeah, yeah. Like, I got to find that shit and I'm going to bring I think it they've been to the wa- pod. I, I definitely think they've been watching for, like, ever, bro. Like, the, th- the things we think are, like, angels and different, like, you know, like, Chupacabra and Bigfoot and all that shit. <laughs> is that shit. <laughs> 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 I see, I see all my goats dead one morning over there in DR, 7 in the morning. I was like, ah! And it was all dead with some shit in their neck. Chupacabra's real, man. Hey, that could just be a different type of alien, bro. Well, it could be my drunk uncle. Some, yeah, yeah, some yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slaughtering fucking. <laughs> Slaughtering goats. By, by the way, I, I, I think the weirdest part is, right? Yeah. All this is coming out right now, and it's it's so low key. Like, no one cares. Like, this is some weird ass shit, and everyone's just like, mm, whatever, you know, whatever. Well, well, whatever. I, think, 
I, you, would, you would think that like like you know like like that this would be some grand shit. Like yo, we're about to talk about aliens, right. man. Yeah, yeah. Like this is the album release party for aliens, and we're just like. Yeah, it's just, just the album well, of that actually, dude that attacked Dave Chappelle. Wait, wait, wait. What if this is like a thing? Because you know how we were talking about how, like, uh, basically, you know, the government probably manipulates the media to focus on, like, things like comedians and shit to make it smaller. But what if they've been, like, doing this to basically, like, make everybody so self centered? Like, everything they've been doing, technology and everything, make everybody so self centered so they can slowly release things about the grand other shit worlds out there. And shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And have people not go into a mass hysteria. Like, keep them so enslaved by their own algorithms and That's shit. That's what it is, That man. they don't even pay attention but to. But who the like, fuck? They get hysterical over dumb shit instead of, like, instead actual of, real instead shit. Instead of actual other beings coming to this world. But they're still hysterical. Them. That's the problem, though. They're but still hyster- hysterical. But, but hysterical is, is fine as long as it's not, like, humanity versus something else. Because they might, you know, get hysterical over Dave Chappelle. That's going to have you write a couple weird tweets. Mm-hmm. You get hysterical over an alien where you don't know where they came from and you start burning the whole city down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like George Floyd, you know, get hysterical, but that's only a couple of neighborhoods, whatever, and just have middle America. But it's like, no, if they're fucking like aliens and we, we truly don't know if they're friends or foes and all that type of shit, like, I think all society around the globe could end up yeah. crumbling at one time. Or, or it could be like Independence Day, where it's just like we need to all combine into one fucking. Planet. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm, you know, what I was thinking. All right, here's my thing. What if aliens come down here, right? Mm-hmm. And then they're like, "Hey, black people, brown people, Asian people, don't worry about it. We like you. We just want to eliminate the white people." Oh. Then man. what would happen? That'd be hilarious. Like, like, would, would yeah, yeah. That. You know, it's gonna be one pick a nigga. Like, oh hell no, nah. we need to protect <laughs> these white people. <laughs> We are to take these <laughs> <laughs> These honkies We can't let them do that Those are honkies <laughs> bro, that'd be <laughs> White women huh bro. You didn't think about that White bitches yeah. Come on man <laughs> Come on And then niggas be like Oh right We just got We just gotta fight them too But <laughs> We need to get some of these White bitches though That's got We need that on paper though You know what I'm saying We can't it'd just be, It'd be just Iced tea Rallying for white people <laughs> And be like Hear me out <laughs> Some of the women look like this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he just he goes over to Coco, Coco tea. <laughs> Some of them look like this. Oh, come no. on, Phil. You tell me you went on Independence Day that? Be like, well, you know, we got to protect our way. <laughs> no, fuck all that. I still think, I think that's so funny. But yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe like that's why they're keeping everything quiet is the fact that like throughout the solar system and like the universe, like there's just different planets of different minorities. <laughs> and that's where we all come from mm-hmm. when they destroyed the white planet mm-hmm. like years ago. Mm-hmm. Because of their imperial, you know what I mean, conquest. Like some shitty Superman <laughs> yeah, now bullshit. Like, and now they're like, you know, and somehow they survived and crash landed here or something. <laughs> now, they're, now they're grand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're doing it again. Yeah. <laughs> the celestial <laughs> grand honkies come back, them. talking about like we celestial honkies. That's hilarious. Celestial honkies. <laughs> they're real Illuminati, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> the Aryans from Ari- Ariana's Grande. Yeah. And they abducted Dude. Tupac. That was the first. <laughs> that was their first string of like, uh, you know, like a uh, uh, war aggression. Was the White Planet abducted Tupac? Elvis. Uh, <laughs> Elvis was like the honky king from space. <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> He's somewhere out there. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get my people pretty soon, honey. Well, no, the Black Planet <laughs> trained Elvis Presley, and then once he crash landed to Earth, he was corrupted <laughs> by the other white people. <laughs> they had to take him out. <laughs> I think mean, that's funny. This has been sponsored by Ganja, guys. Ganja, yeah. <laughs> smoke until you fucking Ganja Incorporated. Is that exactly. yeah? We're still mad about the jail thing. <laughs> that's their that's their tagline. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, yeah, if they were here to abduct all white people, I think I'd I think I'd be uh, for it. I w- I wasn't. You know, for it maybe like a day or two ago, but once I saw a Walmart do that Juneteenth ice cream flavor, I was like, they can go. They can go. <laughs> great fucking segue. <laughs> fucking great they segue. Can, they can fucking Kudos, go. Kudos, man. Yeah. You know, what kind of like actually. Uh, wh- all right. So what's your opinion? Oh, oh I, I'll say my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I think it's funny, like a funny ass pandering and shit, but the flavor sounds dope as fuck. Wasn't it like some like. What does like, it even taste like, though? It was like some brownie. I'm gonna Slavery. find it. That's what I. That's what I assume. Wow. Hold on. It's like, I'll get back what, to that. So when they uh, they want ice cream that tastes like slavery, and they handed it to us. You know what I mean? I mean, if it's gonna be, if we're gonna make a Juneteenth 
uh, you know, ice cream. It better fucking be good. But I mean, I already hate it. Number one, because Juneteenth ice cream flavor. But also, uh, number two is that uh, you know I'm lactose intolerant. So <laughs> <laughs> I already. I'm saying though, this proves that we should get reparations though, because yeah. like they've always used our, used our culture. They've mm-hmm. always like manipulated us and trying to sell stuff to us and like basically taking advantage of us and we get no money out of it. So now even like this, we've been trying to push this like uh, holiday and it's finally going through and then the first thing they do, it's like, okay, now we're making money out of it. Yeah. Like, how are we going to get it from our community? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. is this another... It's not, it's not even pandering. It's beyond that. It's just like... No, it's, it's blatant manipulation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, think that's, I think that's the whole problem too where it's just like eventually... Uh, yeah, I think like there there have been so many like ridiculous displays of like people trying to appreciate black people. Yeah, that eventually I think they're gonna run out of them, and we are just going to have to get reparations because they've they've done so many ridiculous grand gestures. Yeah, I you mean, know what I mean, they they made it a holiday, so nobody works and shit. But it's just like, you know, you walk into Walmart and then you see like these paper plates and shit. Oh, Juneteenth this and everything. All these decorations, cool. But it's just like. They need to stop fucking up and lying to like everybody. You know the yeah. the, the black community needs their reparations. You know, like you have, you know, uh, s- other cultures that got some sort of you know reparations and sh- and stuff. You know, Jews got it from Germany. Uh, Native Americans somewhat got it from over here and shit like mm-hmm. that. But then it's still like like what is it that like why aren't black people getting their resp- <clears throat> their reparations? Because they just don't want to admit that they're wrong. And I think but it's. it's good. It's clear. Like, but it doesn't matter how clear something is. It's like, remember when, like, you know, you'd be like a little kid or something and, like, your parent did something? Right. You know, you, you had one answer, they had another answer, and then it turned out that you were right. But you it's know? just only black people. That's what, that's what's what, no matter, that's what's no so matter fucking what, crazy. your parent probably wouldn't admit that you were right. Right. A lot of times, especially if it had to do with, like, discipline, like, you already got beat. You know what I mean? And then it turned out they were wrong. Right. It's just like they're not going to admit it. It just right. doesn't matter because I'm in charge and you're, you're, I'm the parent, you're the kid. Right, right. You so can't, you fuck can't, how right you are. Right, right. But you know, the, pro- you know the sad part is if there was reparations, they'd probably s- flip it around and like write it off as a tax thing. Oh, some and, then, and then you'll have yeah. black people talking about like, wait, man, I, I, I pay reparations too. Let me write it off too, you know, just yeah, to make. Yeah. So it w- they would flip it around where they would like not really pay for well, it. I think you know? that's, the, that's the weird thing too where it's like I think uh, if you are going to do reparations, I, I personally don't even think they should give uh, you know, black people – a lump sum of money. I think that'd be cool, but I I think the best way to give improvement would either land. like land, like actual land, uh, or just uh, you know make black people like not have to pay taxes or college sure, tuition yeah. for for the next like fifty years. 50 years yeah. You know, and and two hundred like, years. <laughs> yeah, you can do it that way, but I think I think fifty years would even just increase. Uh, a lot of a lot of those things that a lot of black people missed on like because you're able to do those things and not have the financial uh, issue of it you could go for whatever you would want and you know because there's so many things it's like it, when they talk about reparations it's not just about fucking slavery it's a, it's about a million fucking things it's about how many times like black people have created their own economy and then that c- economy was burned down and mm-hmm. destroyed and then the you know those economies went into financial ruin and then white people bought those companies out and then just made money off of them. Yeah. Uh, it's also about how, like, you know, after World War II and, like, even Korea and stuff, the GI Bill, black people right. were not included right, right. in that. So, like, you had these people who went there who possibly didn't have education, which wasn't that big of a deal back in the day. But once people came home, all these white people were given stipends and stuff and able to get educations or go to whatever trade school they wanted to. And for black people... It's just they they came back to their country where they're from and they treat they were treated as if they just missed out on five years right, of right. being in America. They got the nigga please bill. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. nigga please. Yeah, nigga please. What? Yeah. what? Well, I mean that's the thing too, man. Like you'll never you'll <laughs> even if they did reparations, they'll never do it right. You know what I'm saying? No. They they would there would be so many loopholes and like there'd be like you know, again, there'd be like stuff where it's like, all right, I get to write it off for like I bet you white people would like write it off off their taxes well, for the next like I, I also this. think I also think they're waiting long enough to where uh most black people in America, like black people with uh slave lineage in America are uh, mostly biracial mm-hmm. or are a good mm-hmm. portion biracial. Mm-hmm. Um so then so they give them a certain percentage of it or even so that uh 
at least some of it's going back to people that they would deem more white than black. Well, here's the problem, though. If you're an African-American in America, you are already biracial by default because, like, sure. all the, you know, slavery, they fucked all our ancestors. Sure. And everyone's mixed. But like, even if you're in the Caribbean, like, yeah, you're basically yeah. mixed. You know what I'm saying? No, that, that's true. But yeah. they don't want anybody with your, like, with you or, or my skin tone to receive things from the government and then improve our lives. That's what I'm saying. They want it to where half of the black population in America who's not like from the islands or whatever mm. to be like very, very light skinned mm. and shit like that to give, to finally give them money. Mm. You know, they don't want dark people. Fuck that. Yeah. Uh, well, going back <laughs> to that true. whole biracial stuff is, is actually true. Like now that I think about it, it actually makes sense because even in the Caribbean, same thing, like in DR, like my, my grand, like my mom's side of the family is like heavy African roots, mm. you know, like, like the only reason like, I'm like this is because like my father he has more Spanish roots and stuff like that, but it makes sense because like if they if they would have had like just a whole population of just like pure 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 Africans, you know what I you know what I mean? Then that's a lot of money. Where the fuck is that money coming from? Mm. But what's fucked up is that that like the U.S. they're willing to like give a lot of money out to like Ukraine mm. and stuff like that. And just right now, like supposedly with like, like, like a, yeah. Taiwan and shit. Oh yeah. Give them money over. Give them yeah, money but over, then it's just like, why over. not help? I mean, yo, just look at Flint. Flint, Michigan, still yep. has dirty Terrible fucking water. water. Like, yep. But meanwhile, we have like the greatest sky rises over here in New York City and shit like that. You know what I mean? It's kind of fucked up. Like this, this, this world is fucked up. It's Something has to happen, true. though. And I also think too, I think the government as well. Like, not only do they not want to give it, but they also, I think, fear that if they actually do give black people reparations, that uh, white people in this country might actually like revolt. Mm-hmm. Like in a true way, and it's like, and like they've always, white poor people have kind of been like their, uh, their like junkyard dog. Uh, you know what I mean? That they fucking like, th- yeah, they throw like raw meat at it, and yeah. let it fucking tear up anything yeah. in its fucking way. And I think that's the thing is like they don't want to piss off their core audience mm-hmm. because if they do, they're gonna go and fucking they're gonna kill all the minorities, but they'll also come for them. Well, here's what I said. Like, the dumb white people would revolt. The smart white people would just write it off. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, okay, here. I, I guess I won't have to pay taxes for my billions of dollars this yeah. year because, you know, yeah, that's what's going to happen. That's true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they're well, going to run up on those those smart white people and murk every single one of them. Right? I don't know. I mean, I, people are really stupid, especially poor white people. They're very stupid. That is true. You know? I mean, that's, you know. Well, well <laughs> that's why they, they're, they're, they're poor and have been told that poor people are the problem. So right, they are right, really stupid. Right. Here's, here's the big thing that's going to happen that's going to be really fucked up and really crazy. Once automation hits, where it's like, like, for example, like cars that drive itself, you know, like, fuck, yeah, like, mm-hmm. um, Delivery options yeah, yeah, yeah. with like robots and stuff. All of these people are not going to have. I know. Be be eliminated from the job market, and then what? You know, because yeah. they've been trained to like do that nine to five bullshit, yep. like corporate bull. Even like working in an office is like already like no, outdated. It's being it's slowly being phased phased out and everything. They're trying to keep pushing that, but it's just like why work in an office when I could just have high speed internet and do the same bullshit yeah. at home. Yeah. And say, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, and once that happens, like. And you can see that right now where they're, they're going to try to limit like population control and stuff like that because it's like you don't need all these people. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I you know, I, I think that is like a, a, a major thing. And I think but I could see that happening where it's just like the world is clapping in so many different ways. So I think like as things get to a head and especially as like automation and all that shit happens, maybe that's when they'll give black people reparations. Oh, right, and they'll right. be like, let, let everybody tear each other apart because we need less people. So let's just drop it and let's just let people freak the fuck out. And the black people that are smart enough to like use their money in the point two seconds that they have it, then I guess they'll be here and whatever, and we'll deal with that. I've got a stop. Oh, I ran out. All right. Well, <laughs> we we end on a fucking high note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe black people get reparations once the uh, extinction happens, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're out. Sorry. Yeah. The- the first take of the show was so fun. <laughs> this was pretty good. This you was know. good. It was good. Solid. Yeah, it was solid. It Are was we solid. done now? Or yeah, I guess we're gonna have to end this because right. the whole thing. Because I, the voice, right? yeah, still recording the voice. Mm-hmm. But. Leave the voice All right, so we'll yeah. So I out. guess uh, we'll just end this. This has been a short one, guys. Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, this has been Phil Risden, Manny Perez, and Todd Mondesi at Monte Killer. Hey, real quick, uh, Phil, any plugins? Anything you're doing this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you guys, I mean, I, well. Uh, yes, sure. Um, I have a show Tuesday, uh, in May twenty fourth. If anybody wants to come out, uh, something tells me 
by the time this comes out, the show will probably have already happened. But yeah. we can do that. Uh, and also uh, May 25th as well, uh, too. Uh, so please follow me at Grove Street Comedy uh, on Instagram or at Phil Risden. That's uh, P-H-I-L-R-I-Z-D-O-N on Instagram as well for updates. Thank you. Yo, follow me at Monty Killa, M-O-N-T-I-K-I-L-L-A, and at UG Comedy Show, UG Comedy Show, one word. We have a comedy club, a comedy network. Right now we have our flagship comedy uh, club at Adora Lay in Soho, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays, 287 Hudson Street in New York. Also, we're going to have like a uh, Bushwick venue as well, which is coming up. It's going to be dope. I think it's Secret Poor. And uh, yeah, we're going to do a bunch of stuff. So if you want to have us at your, want to come to our shows or you want to have us do shows in, where, in your area, wherever you're at, hit us up. UG Comedy Show. We're changing the fucking, we're changing the game. And lastly, this is me, Manny Perez. You can follow me on Instagram at Manny Perez BK. Um, yeah, um, I'll just be around. Um, I'll just be putting up some content about the pod and also just funny content that you guys might like. So like and subscribe to the False Prophets pod. And we hope to see you again next week. And yeah, if you love this shit, like and subscribe. Thanks again. All right. Uh, see you guys uh, Thursday. Thursday at 10. We'll be live streaming the next episode. So uh, talk to you soon. Peace.